thank you very much, Emma, for that introduction. And can I say it's been a, a privilege and a pleasure to go to Doors in South Belfast with you, uh, because you are positive, you are confident, not only about South Belfast, but about the Union and our place within the Union. And we want to see you returned so that you can stand up for South Belfast and stand up for the people of Northern Ireland in the very effective way that you have been doing since you were elected back in 2017. And uh, I know that there are many in South Belfast who agree with me on that. Colleagues, fresh and well, you're all looking. And uh, can I say it's wonderful to see you all here today. I know you've been putting in uh, some long hours, and I'm looking at Jim Shannon there, and he's looking very well. <laughs> very fit, he says. So thank you for all that you've been doing uh, on the doors right across Northern Ireland, because this party does knock doors, and this party speaks to people and hears what they have to say. But in exactly two weeks, the polls will be opening, uh, and people right across the United Kingdom will be exercising their democratic right to vote. And in Northern Ireland, voters are faced with a very clear choice on what will be one of the most important polls ever held in Northern Ireland. This party is fighting for every vote, and every vote matters. Because the more votes we have, the more seats we have, and the more influence we will have. And today we publish a detailed manifesto which sets out our policies and our priorities for the next parliament. And our manifesto, of course, complements our 12-point plan for Northern Ireland, which we launched uh, last week. And we make no apology for focusing uh, on Northern Ireland and for publishing detailed plans for moving Northern Ireland forward. But we also want to see very much a strong uh, and united democratic unionist team at Westminster alongside a restored Northern Ireland Assembly to take vital reforming decisions in areas such as health and education. So I urge people on the 12th of December to vote for a strong team with a track record of working with others at Westminster to deliver that has secured an additional 1.5 billion for the people of Northern Ireland for their health care, for their educational outcomes, for infrastructure, and of course, those all important city deals. So with the general election result uncertain, there will again, I firmly believe, be the opportunity for the largest party from Northern Ireland to have significant influence on securing the best European Union exit deal for Northern Ireland and on delivering more for the people of Northern Ireland. The party with the most seats from Northern Ireland will have the most influence, and having secured significant investment for Northern Ireland in the last two years, the DUP wants to do much more. Now, some seek a mandate to do nothing in this election, nothing in the Assembly, nothing in Parliament. But we seek a mandate to turn up and a mandate to work for all of the people of Northern Ireland. So a vote for the DUP two weeks from today is for increased family incomes, where we're asking to raise personal tax and national insurance allowances, increasing the national living wage, and having more younger people entitled to it. A vote for us is for ending the freeze on benefits and raising in line with inflation. A vote for us is a vote for older people, for the restoration of television licences for the over 75s, and maintaining the pensions triple lock and universal fuel payments. A vote for the DUP is a vote for Northern Ireland getting its fair share of investment in infrastructure and a rebalanced economy, for a business friendly environment and enhanced productivity for leaving the European Union as one United Kingdom, because the DUP is committed to a deal that works for the whole of the United Kingdom and which does not leave Northern Ireland behind with no border in the Irish Sea. A vote for the DUP is a vote for compassionate and effective voice in the world, and we're speaking, and I'm thinking especially of the persecuted Christians across the world and the work that has been done there and how we want to support that, and there's more in our manifesto about that. 
It's a vote for more effective agriculture support and a UK-wide approach to environmental protection. A vote for us is a vote for Northern Ireland as a cyber security leader and a renewed focus on our nation's defences and supporting those who defend it. Reforming Parliament and politics, including repealing the Fixed Term Parliament Act, a UK-wide approach to political donations, reducing the membership of the House of Lords, withholding expenses and allowances from members who don't fulfil their responsibilities, making sure that we have UK Cabinet meetings taking place here in Northern Ireland, overhauling or replacing the Joint Ministerial Council, and lastly, to enhance the role of the British Irish Council. Because the message at this election is very clear. If you want to see Northern Ireland moving and want more done, then you should unite around the strongest unionist party. Now, more than ever, unionism needs to speak with one voice. And make no mistake, elections do matter. The outcome of this election across the United Kingdom is still uncertain. As we have proved over this past two years, our votes may well be crucial. And a Jeremy Corbyn government would be bad, as we all know, not only for Northern Ireland, but as a couple in North Down told me yesterday on the doors, would be disastrous for the United Kingdom. So in a hung parliament, we will not support Jeremy Corbyn to be Prime Minister. So what we need is a mandate for our manifesto and our plan for Northern Ireland to protect Northern Ireland and to get more done for Northern Ireland. How people vote at this election and how many seats we have will determine not just individual members of Parliament, but I believe the shape and direction of this country thereafter. Unionism needs its strongest team and it needs to work together. Northern Ireland need one, needs one strong voice leading from the front to deliver for everyone in Northern Ireland and to protect our place within the Union of the United Kingdom. The DUP is that voice and if we are to deliver and get Northern Ireland moving in the right direction we need support right across Northern Ireland. So colleagues in the remaining time ahead let us work to protect Northern Ireland and to ensure that Northern Ireland has a strong team, a strong team arguing the case in Westminster. Colleagues, thank you very much and thank you for coming along today.